That was Chick's tune, based on You Stepped Out of a Dream. The solo at letter A starts with a nice pentatonic pattern from my new book, Modern Patterns and Warm-Ups for Jazz. The funny thing is that I use the same pattern one whole step higher in my tutorial video called Pentatonic Patterns and Solo, which you can view or review here. This pattern is a shortened version of Exercise 2A from my book, which has just become available as an EPUB book, I'm excited to say. So please look for it on Kindle or in iTunes. Here is how it was used in a previous video. And here it is in the solo in this video. I usually practice this pattern to fit over an E flat 7 or a B flat 7 as all the notes fit into these two chords. But if you start this pattern a whole step higher, all the notes will fit over an E flat major chord in the song except the A natural. The A is the sharp 11, so it has a cool modern sound to it as an E flat major sharp 11 chord when used correctly. But jazz isn't just about inserting things that you practiced or playing willy-nilly. So normally, at the beginning of a solo, I'll use the pattern that fits the chords in all respects initially. And my thinking isn't always premeditated. I practice this way so much that these thoughts can fly out of my horn while I'm on a gig. There's a lot to absorb that is not pentatonic, so I'd like to cover some of that briefly as we proceed. The line over the F7 is a tritone substitution, as C minor 7 is the 2 chord of F7, and the tritone of C minor is F sharp minor. You can see that here in the F sharp, A flat or G sharp, A, B, and C sharp, the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of F sharp minor. The next bar is a line based on the 3 minor which is just an extension of the B-flat major chord starting on its third. I just stick in the fourth as it makes the line smoother. The next chord is an A minor 7, but I begin my line of thinking on the 5 chord, the D7 dominant. Again you hear the 3 minor being B minor over the 1 chord being G major and then a pretty motif repeated over the next few bars. I like working with motifs, as they add to the lyricism and give the listener something to grab on to if used correctly. If you don't believe me, listen to Sonny Rollins' brilliant solo on Woody and You. As masterful and natural a player as he was, you can hear how well he got around on his horn and how practiced he was. Letter B again uses a motif, one from my book Modern Patterns and Warm-Ups for Jazz once again. This pattern is called the Major Sharp 11 Pentatonic Pattern.
You'll see each phrase starts with a three note pickup, including the last resolving phrase here. Letter C is also in my book under Exercise 6, Practical Use, Note for Note. It shows how one might use the truncated pentatonic pattern in Exercise 6 in a practical way, in a solo. The first four note grouping comes from the truncated pentatonic pattern, minor third interval, and the next three four note groupings come from the truncated pentatonic patterns, perfect fourth interval. The rest of the line is symmetrical interval wise going up a fourth and down a minor third. It is staggered rhythmically only. I love practicing patterns such as this, but they are only a means to an end. They will increase your flexibility, range, the way you think, and eventually the way you improvise. Thanks for watching. This wraps up the lesson on more pentatonic patterns and soloing. You can see that learning and playing patterns can be fun and entertaining, and at the same time remain practical. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Also. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for updates on my newest jazz video lessons.